Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll get to discover little known facts about every single country on this planet. In today's episode, we'll talk about the state of Wyoming as part of the series dedicated to the United States of America. Before we get into it, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel. In return, you'll get to explore the hundreds of videos that are already up, plus two brand new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. The Wyoming Territory became first in the American nation to grant women over the age of 21 the right to vote in 1869. It is believed that legislators passed the bill for reasons like the genuine conviction that women should have the same rights as men, but also a desire to attract new settlers to the territory by making it appear more modern and because some legislators voted for it only to be able to say they did, mistakenly believing that the bill didn't have enough supporters to pass anyway. But the bill did pass, and in 1870, 69-year-old Louisa Ann Swain became the first woman in the United States to vote in a general election. She only woke up early to buy some yeast and stopped to vote on the way. The 10th largest US state is Wyoming, which is just a bit bigger than the United Kingdom. But it's also the least populous state, with just 586,000 people living here. To put that in perspective, Luxembourg, one of the smallest countries on earth, has 591,000 people. You'll only find about 2 people per square kilometers in Wyoming, while in the similarly sized United Kingdom, it's 271. So if you don't like crowded places, Wyoming should definitely be on your relocation list. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but most of Yellowstone, the first national park in the world, lies within the borders of Wyoming. Established in 1872, 44 years before there was a national park service, the park hosts nearly 4 million visitors every year. People come from all over the world to get a glimpse of Yellowstone's majesty and its unique ecosystem. Some of the park's major attractions, like the Old Faithful Geyser, is in Wyoming. Now, that's all good and well, until you consider that Yellowstone is actually a giant volcano. Nearly half of the planet's geothermal features are in Yellowstone, and the reason is quite clear. This supervolcano is still very much active. In the last 2 million years, it has erupted several times, with a force no human has ever witnessed, and when it will erupt again, it will cause an unparalleled catastrophe for humanity. Needless to say, another eruption is already overdue, so we can expect it to go anytime within the next centuries. The capital city of Wyoming is Cheyenne, named after the Cheyenne Nation, one of the most famous and prominent Native American tribes. The city was once the richest city, but not just in the United States, but in the entire world. The boom started in 1867, when the Union Pacific Railroad reached the area. In one year, the population grew from 600 to 4,000. By the 1870s, there were prosperous ranches breeding for the European beef market, land plots were selling for over $2,500, and with the opening of the Black Hills gold fields, the economic boom continued. By the time electric lights were installed in 1882, Cheyenne had become the wealthiest city per capita in the world. Bisons are the official state mammal of Wyoming, but the relationship between the animals and human is complicated. According to the National Park Service, more people get hurt every year at Yellowstone by bisons than by bears. This is because conservation efforts have been a bit too successful and the bison population outgrew expectations. So now, there's a different initiative to keep the bison population at a manageable level. It's not a popular initiative, since it involves the hunting and killing of up to 900 bisons per year, as a measure of population control. 
Throughout the 19th century, there was so much wagon traffic throughout Wyoming that wagon wheel ruts still exist all over the state today. Most of these trails were part of the Oregon Trail. The best preserved ruts on the entire former Oregon Trail are located near the town of Guernsey. Wagon wheels, draft animals and people wore down the trail about 2 meters into a sandstone ridge here during its heavy usage from 1841 to 1869. This is basically an opportunity to actually walk in the footsteps of the original settlers of the American West. In 1887, Harry Alonzo Longabaugh was caught stealing a gun, horse and saddle from a ranch in Sundance, Wyoming. While attempting to flee, he was captured by authorities and was convicted and sentenced to 18 months in jail. During this jail time, he adopted the nickname of the Sundance Kid and would later join the Wild Bunch, which included his famous partner Robert Leroy Parker better known as Butch Cassidy. These two became one of the world's best known outlaws from the American Old West, having robbed several banks and trains. They were killed in a shootout in Bolivia in November 1908. So these were 7 facts about Wyoming. I hope you enjoyed the video and will leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts and comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You can offer your support even more by visiting my Patreon page and becoming a patron. I hope to see you next time. Bye.